Hi, it's Norman Kochnik here for Extra Time. I'm in Barrel in the southern highlands of Sydney, about an hour, hour and a half south of Sydney. Again, probably the, one of the most historical places in the world, not just for cricket, but for sport. In particular, Sir Donald Bradman, who was obviously one of the most notable cricketers ever in the world. Obviously, Sachin Tendulkar and Virat Kohli are the more contemporary equals of Sir Donald Bradman, but it all starts with this man. Even the, even the likes of Victor Trumper, which Sir Donald Bradman actually supported, it was an amazing start to cricketing history with Sir Donald Bradman. The reality is that this particular building behind me, we are at 52 Shepherd Street in Barrel. Now that may not sound like a very notable dress to you, but it is in fact the most significant sporting iconic, or I'll call it a museum, a piece of natural history that's ever existed. This particular building was built, or was not so much built, but it was actually lived in by Sir Don from the age of three. In 1911 to 1924, Sir Donald Bradman lived here from the ages of three to 16. He, and they were his formative years, the years where he developed who he is today, who he was in his end, a man of incredible stature, an amazing legend. This man was a cricket legend, as we all know. He could play tennis, he could play table tennis, he had musical capabilities, he was incredibly capable in anything he touched. And this particular home has a lot to do with that. The history of 52 Shepherd Street is extremely interesting. You'll notice that the building here has a, has a plaque there for 9-11 to 1924, where at the time that he spent here. What is amazing, this building has been brought back to its original condition, including the pink stained glass on the front door, the way that the trees are aligned, the internal workings of the house are as if we are in 1911 today. It is most incredible, worth visiting certainly. Again, a piece of natural history, a piece of sporting history, iconic because as we will know, Sir Donald Bradman was the most significant sports person ever. The best averages, the be best statistics by far. The likes of Jack Nicholas, Tiger Woods, you throw Michael Jordan in the hat, Babe Ruth or Maradona or Pele, they all have, got, all have amazing sporting statistics legends of their game, but the overall so-called leader, the one that's most pronounced, is Sir Donald Bradman. This is where he lives. Now, in this particular building, we have a, a most monumental significance. Now, back in the day, Sir Don, when he was three, was photographed in front of this building, and that set the scene. He then would be able to live in this building, and he craved sport, in particular cricket. He wanted to practice it wherever he possibly could, against the back and side fences, along the street, along the pathways. But one particular part of this building that is most significant is an area towards the back right hand corner, which in fact is over my shoulder, along this porchway and around the corner, is in fact the tank stand. A form of water tank that holds the uh, so-called storm water that would fall in the house through the, the actual uh, guttering, went into this particular tank. This tank stand was basically an innovative thing for Sir Donald to work with. It had a corrugated iron side to the actual tank, which created unevenness. So if Sir Donald decided to practice his batting, he thought, why not use the particular tank stand, the limited space he had. He was able to then thought of a cricket bat. Well, in fact, he suggested to himself, why not use an actual cricket stump? And cricket stumps back in 1911 were not the size or thickness of today. They were very, very thin. He would get one of those particular stumps. He would then use a golf ball, again very small, and be hitting that golf stump against the, against the tank with a, with a cricket-like with a cricket -like shot. Again, imagine it, a cricket stump, a golf ball, and a corrugated iron. Virtually impossible to hit more than once. So Don did it many times, maybe dozens of times, with flawless hitting. Always the uneven bounce, the uneven direction, he would be able to counteract and play the shot. Of course, the likes of Sir Donald could only have done that. Um, I've, had, I've had several of my friends and colleagues that have actually tried. We could barely hit it once, let alone a second time. So Donald, on any of the videos you see of him, hit the ball several times in the middle of this particular golf stump, sorry, not golf stump, cricket stump, with a golf ball with immaculate accuracy. Hence, 
what made him a cricketer of, of the day. He was able to also practice his catching against the sides of the palings of fences which were slightly raised. He'd throw the ball, the ball would go up sideways, left, right and centre and he would go about catching it. He honed his skills repetitively to the point of distraction. Not unlike a Sachin Tendulkar, not unlike a lot of young kids in India that do that as well. I see plenty of videos of that now where young kids are emulating that and using a similar structure eerily to emulate such a player. That's the dedication you needed. Even Shane Warne with Terry Jenner, his, his coach and mentor from South Australia, Shane Warne would often have his leg spin deliveries placed on a dime relentlessly until he got it right. The same with Sedon, the tank stand he would relentlessly hit. That cricket stump, using that to hit a golf ball and against this corrugated iron, quite amazing indeed. But the history of this building is amazing. The rooms are as they were of the time, the carpentry, the, the curtains, the bed linen, the knickknacks in the place, the actual history. There's a room full of history there with wisdom collections, quite incredible. It is an amazing place to visit, certainly worth uh, noting on your calendar when you come to Barrel. As long as you have time, you should be here. SCG visit, Barrel visit, you go to the likes of 52 Shepherd Street or 20 Glebe Street, the Brabham Museum, Brabham Oval, and the many, many beautiful surrounds of Barrel. Let me take you on that adventure one day on Extra Time. Don't forget to view, like and share, and ultimately subscribe to Extra Time, and I'll keep you informed and keep you up to date with what is happening both in the India vs Australia series and the incredible rich history of Australia, of cricket, of Barrel, Bradman's home. This is Norman Kochnack from Extra Time.